What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we have a Keyforge Archon Vault Tour Top 4 game from Gen Con 2019. If you haven't watched it already, we've seen Trevor, we've seen Kyle, both playing in the top 8 videos I have up on the channel. Go check those out. They are in a playlist at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. Both their deck lists will be linked below, so pause the video now. Go check out their list before they continue so you know what we're dealing with here. We got the Dust Imp coming into play on the uh, disc turn there by Kyle. Playing only one card, obviously. We got Potion of Vulnerability on the other side, gaining an, an Amber, followed by another one out of Trevor's deck here. Frankus and Patectrix. Four cards for the start there off Sanctum. Not a bad second turn at all. Let's see how Kyle answers back to that. Winner of this, obviously making it on to the finals. You can see the other top four game in the finals on Fantasy Flight Games, I believe YouTube channel and or Twitch channel. They were live streaming that. I recorded the games that were not on the stream, so this should be new to you. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I'll be doing new Keyforge videos in the future. I have lots of other Keyforge content on the channel. Other tabletop gaming videos if you're interested in that stuff. And we have a Pawn Sacrifice with a Dust Imp. Great play. Gets two Amber off the Dust Imp, an Amber off the Pawn Sacrifice, and three damage to Protectrix. Only two to Frankus due to the armor. And we got a Routine Job stealing one. Two Routine Jobs in Kyle's deck. And going up to four, Amber. So Kyle's deck's running three mothers, and two Ember Imps. So we got a special delivery coming in on Trevor's side here, gaining an Amber off that. And we got Shadow Self protecting Frankus. And a Poison Wave going to the discard. Doesn't feel like dealing four damage to Shadow Self. Actually, it would only be three, I think, because the armor hitting Frankus first and the remaining damage will go to Shadow Self. I mean, he could pop Potion of Vulnerability there, which is great with Poison Wave. It's Omni. Get to make your creatures invulnerable. <laughs> for the turn and then drop down the poison wave so it's like a one side board wipes kind of depends on obviously how big the creatures are on the other side but or how much health they have remaining we have another special delivery in play this i on kyle's side followed by a mac the knife the rare in kyle's shadows lineup here elusive has that action where you can deal a damage and gain an amber if it destroys that creature just like seeker needle but just using him out of any house is awesome just being able to reap or use that action every turn Trevor carefully thinking through his turn, playing it out in his head here before committing to a faction. We saw him do this in his last game. I actually watched him do this in a few rounds uh, while I was there filming, wandering around. Takes the time, thinks it through. You're in a top four game here. You have 35 minutes, so you have some little extra time there. Players know their decks at this point. You can usually play pretty quickly. So he's going house dis here, it sounds like. And we got a fear bouncing Mac the Knife back to Kyle's hand. Followed by a pit demon on the left flank. And a control of the weak, forcing Kyle to name Shadows next turn. And gateway to dis hitting the discard pile. Obviously, Trevor not wanting to wipe the board and take a bunch of chains when his opponent has no board. <laughs> Another routine job, this time stealing two. And 
And Kyle is now in check with seven amber. Trevor reduced to one. And Mac the Knife back in play. I assume we'll see that special delivery on Trevor's side used to hit Mac the Knife there at some point. I'm gonna pick house it's just calling out for him. <laughs> so Trevor goes dis again. Yeah, he touched that special delivery. He wants to do it. He's going to do it in a different order here, I guess. Pit Demon to steal one. Kyle's not off check yet. There's the purge on Mac the Knife, popping the special delivery. Restrained Guntus is hitting the board. And Kyle's not allowed to name house Logos. And Schuler dropping in to steal another one. Gets him off of check, just like that. Trevor only sitting at three amber, though. Kyle at five. Trevor's got the board, though. You got Schuler on that right flank, protecting that restrained Guntis from that special delivery on the other side of the board. So, dis for Kyle here. Throws down a Lash of Broken Dreams. Trevor not able to see his customs office yet in this game. Had it out early last game. Where he would have had Kyle forced to pay him an Amber to put that down. And we got a Schuler dropping in, not stealing any, because Trevor is only at three Amber. Needs to be at four or higher for that. And we have an Arise play here, gaining a chain. Just grabbing the Dust Imp. Early game Arises, you know, you know how it is. Not the best. And Kyle dropped to five, lose a chain, not in check, only has five Amber. Trevor's going Sanctum here. Pops down Champion Tabris on the right flank. Francis is going to... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. He's rolling back here. No Francis fight yet. Maybe he wants to pop a potion vulnerability. Sounds like he has an inspiration in hand. He might want to use Champion Tabris after to fight in and capture the two off the Dust Imp. So Francis will fight into the Dust Imp. Dust Imp will produce two Amber off that destruction. And the damage will actually hit the Shadow Self there. Francis will capture one, of course, since Dust Imp was destroyed off Francis' ability. And there's that Inspiration. Champion Tabris will fight Schuler. Should only take three, thanks to the two armor. Schuler gets destroyed. And Tabris should have captured two. Isn't it? One, two, three, four, uh, and a four amber off a cleansing wave play there. Heal one, heal one. Oh, sorry. Champion Tabris only capture one. What was I thinking? Two. 
fully heal champion to breeze. I have, uh, what is that, eight amber. So just like that, Trevor's at eight amber off a juicy cleansing wave. And we saw the Protectress do a reap there and heal up champion Tabris. So Kyle going dis here, does Lash of Broken Dreams, drops on an Ember Imp. And that's it. Still not in check. Trevor will forge his... No, he will not. Sorry, Lash, duh. <laughs> Needs nine to forge. He's only at eight. Which explains why Kyle just did that. Not the best turn, obviously, just dropping down the Ember Imp, but he had to do the Lash there, he felt. Does Trevor continue to go heavy on generating Amber and go higher? There is an Effervescent Principle in Kyle's deck, but no too much to protect. Dis. So Trevor's going dis. And Schuler's gonna pop restring gun to, or uh, sorry, the Ember Imp. And take two damage only. And Pit Demon will steal one and Restrain Guntus will reap. That's it. I think he has a discard in hand, but he doesn't want to use it. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe sitting on another Schuler in hand. It looks like he has another Schuler in his deck. Maybe an Ember Imp. Charette. It's probably a Charette. Maybe it's three Fates. I would have just discarded it at that point, though. Kyle going shadows. Seems to be in a rough spot here. He's going to steal an amber. And he's going to do it to the pit demon and then pop special delivery to purge the pit demon. And Trevor will forge his first key this time. Three amber remaining. I'm gonna pick So Trevor's going Shadows here. And a bait and switch to steal one Amber. Shadow Self will reap, gain an Amber. There's that Customs Office we talked about earlier. Finally hitting the board. A Dodger on the right flank. And a Dodger on the left flank. And finishes turn at five. Amber passes over to Kyle. And Kyle will go Dis. Play Lash. Drops Toxin into play and passes. Wow. Kyle, I think, having rough draws here. I'm gonna pick. My side now is so awful. It's like, not that great. I have like a one out and I'm just not dying. Yeah, no, I know. It's <laughs> um, I'm gonna pick house. I gotta just get this game going. Okay, so one, two, three oh, creatures. I'll be up by the top. I'm really close nope. to just skipping the game. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm so I'm gonna sure pick happened. house. So Kyle's saying he's pretty close to scooping here. Lots of time. Telling Trevor not to rush. And Trevor's going to pop a potion of vulnerability. His guys can't take damage. There's a poison wave. One side of poison wave. So juicy. And then he'll fight into Toxin to... 
to kill him. And you'll steal one with the Dodger. Do two reaps. One off Dodger, one off Shadow Self. Drop a second Shadow Self there on the right flank. And ends his turn at nine. Amber in check for key number two. And Kyle will go disc. Drop another Toxin. And makes Trevor pay a full nine there to forge his second key. And Kyle's just going to end it there. He didn't didn't have it. Look at all those Logos cards in hand with the Restrung Guntus on the board saying no Logos. Wow. And that turn he had, I think he could have hit the Restrung Guntus. Maybe he's beside a Shadow Self there. I can't remember. Anyways, thanks to both players for playing on camera. Thanks. Congrats to Trevor for moving on to the finals there. And make sure you guys stick around. I'll have some more Key Forge coming up in the future. Lots of Key Forge already on the channel. Go check that out. I have lots of other board game playthroughs and other card games and stuff. Anyways, see you in the next one.